origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowned his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Ne zaman bir yere gitsek başımıza bir şey geliyor ya.
Bu adam benim favorim ya. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Ben de odamı böyle değiştirebilsem keşke. Well, well. Yeah. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 16:02 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction of 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Pity we can't see the driver's face.
car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Side table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away.
Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Memphis. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. You do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, Hawkins. Okay. My eyes are beginning to fail me. See what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Oh, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, 
If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. No, no, I need to know you sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh. already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Bardaklar var, müteç var. Adam da bezi yanında taşıyor ya. Var bunda bir şey. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Bir şey unutmadık umarım.
So, you claim the victim was...